Hi, it's late June and for a bit of inspiration I'm visiting Great Dixter which is a, a gorgeous uh, garden that's open to the public. Uh, it's near Rye in uh, East Sussex, right over on the Kent border. Uh, it's, it's often good to go to somewhere new and it it's always gives you there's some very noisy starlings over there. Gives you ideas for other plants you might grow or ways you might grow them that might uh, attract in more wildlife. Um, uh, so join me on a little tour of Great Dixter. I'll, I'll um, so if you can see the uh, the house over there is an absolutely gorgeous old building. Uh, I'll show, show you it a bit closer in a minute. Um, surrounded by these amazing wildflower meadows and the gardens themselves as you'll see are really higgledy-piggledy just rammed with amazing uh, flowers and, and teeming with bees. It's giving me bee envy. So come with me and let's see what we can find. This would have been the front lawn I guess but look at it, gorgeous. Tufted vetch and oxeye daisies and yellow rattle and orchids. Oh, lovely meadow geranium in the back there. Beautiful. There's a bee buzz pollinating in this rose here. If you can see in the distance, there's some uh, gorgeous little moorhen chicks with mum. 
little black balls of fluff. Looks like the approach to composting here is just to make an enormous pile. Look at that. There's an older one at the back. The older one looks like it's been there for years. What a glorious contrast to most stately homes with all their boring manicured lawns and flower beds. Here is just a riot of colour and birdsong and buzzing bees. Fantastic. Well that's it, it's just starting to rain so it's time to call it a day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, tour round Great Dixter. Do pay the place a visit yourself, it's, it's magical, I absolutely love it here. 
just imagine, wouldn't it be great if every garden in in Britain, in the world, was managed like that, full of wildflowers mixed up with bee-friendly ornamentals and so on, just full of life. 22 million gardens in the UK, really most of them smaller than that, but nonetheless just think what good we could do if we could make them all wildlife friendly. Okay, cool. Until next time, take care. If you're interested in more similar content then subscribe to my YouTube channel or you might be interested in one of these various books I've written about bumblebees and other insects and how to look after them in your garden and more broadly and the newest one Silent Earth which is all about how we can avert the insect apocalypse.